Mike, thank you very much. And I know it's challenging to have live as well as, um, you know, connected from back from Malaysia. So thank you very much, Diane and, and team. Um, I think we are probably the by far uh, most unconventional Reddit partner right now when we talk about OpenShift. Because, um, you know, Joget is an open source, low code, no code platform. And we more talk about business in terms of, uh, you know, building business applications. We are not talking about network, we are not talking about storage, we are not talking about monitoring and all. So we are by far the most unconventional partners here. Uh, but let me quickly talk about um, why we are here today. Um, I have my, um, uh, uh, you know, one of our customers, Alliance Bank, um, Chui Lee. He is the head of uh, digital innovation and design back at Alliance Bank. And they did some interesting digital transformation uh, using both Joget and, and uh, OpenShift. So we'll talk about that. But I just want to quickly set out, set the context before I hand it over to Chui. Um, one of the things that you will notice in today's age is everything about the development has changed. It has changed when it comes to, you know, what kind of application architectures we are talking about. You know, people are talking about, Gartner is talking about composable business applications, microservices, serverless and all. Application development tools have changed. Uh, as soon as I, uh, as you get to another conference, you will find new tools popping up all the time. And obviously the infrastructure, the way we look at infrastructure has changed. We are talking about infrastructure as code, you know, containers, container platforms, so on and so forth. So if you, if you talk about both of these things together, you know, application architecture, um, your infrastructure, your application app dev tools, there are two things that, you know, come to our focus, which is one, uh, cloud native platforms like OpenShift and low code platforms like what we are working on um, right now. And we see these as together as, as game changing. I'll explain why uh, we say that. In any DevOps cycle or any application development life cycle, what you will see is there are a set of, you know, infrastructure activities and there are a set of application development activities. Infrastructure activities take maybe 10, 20% of the time and development activities, building application development takes almost 60, 70 or 80 percent of the time. So when we are talking about these two life cycles, you know, infrastructure, your, um, you know, automation and, and application development acceleration, you know, Joget and OpenShift covers both the spaces. You know, jo uh, OpenShift covers the infrastructure space for us and Joget covers the application development life cycle. And shrinking these two life cycles is what Alliance Bank did really well. They have you created an onboarding solution for customers and what they have done is they have done that in a record time. So I'll just hand it over to Chui, um, you know, from Malaysia and we'll, we'll, we'll hear their story. So uh, we, we had this uh, digital transformation journey a few years back. So that's why we hop on into OpenShift. We have a quite bold, it's considered a very bold move for a bank to, to, uh, to start it with a microservice containers is kind of uh, like alien to to the bank <laughs> because uh previously we all like a monolithic kind of uh traditional software development waterfall so we introduce uh agile we introduce scrum and then we introduce microservice container to them this actually all this is uh with a purpose of uh, to transform a bank to a more lean and, and more agile to ad and can adapt to the market because previously, for example, uh, when, when we want to develop an application, we, we, it's like six months, uh, nine months in order for one application to go out to the market. This is super long and, and maybe it works in the 90s. I don't know. But uh, now, now it's uh, like a 21st century. It doesn't work anymore. We need to make it fast. We need to make it uh, weeks. Previously, I was from a startup, a small startup, which is uh, we, we can come out at the a single features in one week every single every single week we deploy a, a feature so it is kind of a different kind of experience so I, i'm trying to introduce a startup experience to to the, to the bank that's why i introduce uh microservices with openshift because uh even though it's a it's, it is a open source thing but uh got quite a lot of uh, enterprise support i think this is more important for those enterprise out there when you need uh the back when you want to 
reap the benefits of open source, right? You, in other hand, on other hand, you, you still need uh, support, enterprise support. So I, I think Red Hat is in the, in the right spot in this case. So I think uh, the first thing we, we have done is uh, we introduced the uh, the branch. Uh, sorry, what, else, what should I say? Uh, bank it at the bank at the whole bank branch in the tablet. So we we basically we stuff all the branch features inside a tablet. So you can open account, you can apply credit card, apply loans, and we also introduce some face recognition. In, to, to the system. So the, you do not need to depend on the staff to validate your ID. We have uh, some, some AI algorithm there to, to look at, is it the same face? Then we also have uh, some, some automation to, to check whether are you in uh, AMLA, which is uh, some, some, some sort of bad criminal list. <laughs> yeah. So all this, we, we shorten the, the time to open account from 45 minutes into like five or 10 minutes. Yeah, so this is our journey since then. And then, but I don't think this is, this is the end, uh, end vision of us. We, we try to, okay, uh, I think the whole digital transformation is a never ending story. You have to keep updating yourself, keep updating your system. That's why we, we when we had the when we have the, the, the microservices ready, I think it's time to move up to the UI part. We need to make it more like a factory kind of UI, you know. Because every time if if we want you want if you need to if you need a developer to create a whole new set of UI, it's just not that uh, fast enough. You know the fact why why the factory is fast because everything they they have is on template. They have a mole, right? So in our term is a template. So I'm think that's why I'm thinking we are we are on board with a joke to have a uh, form templates ready pre-made. So every time because for example like us right loan applications no matter your your uh, personal loan or home loan car loan actually is still a loan form right just a slightly different terms of uh, slightly different different uh, tax fields, but ninety percent of them same. That's why we we had this uh we pre-made all these template ready. Then whenever we need uh, something new, we just writing, just get the template, modify a bit, then we can ready to go out. Boom, that's it. So that's why, that's how we, we actually we have a term for it. We call it a uh, uh, factory deliver stream. 